Alright, then we'll do English first. Rashi, you played an outstanding match, playing so well. Is there a consolation in that, or is it just disappointment that you weren't able to kind of maybe convert some of those break points and become aware of the um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely consolation in like that. I, you know, it's been a great stretch uh, all the way from for many months now, and uh, I guess also to receive the crowd support that I did receive. Um, I don't consider that normal. I always say, say that. Um, don't want to say like it feels like you're winning as well, but it, you know, I felt like I was sort of up in the score. They kept me going and um, that's also definitely one of the big reasons I still keep playing, you know, um, because of these moments, goosebump moral moments, it's great. Um, yeah, and uh, surely I'm very disappointed, you know, uh, like you said, I had my chances, they were in my racket and um, I should have never been down in the score the way I was, but, uh, you know, Novak did a great job of fending them off and, you know, all of that. So it was, uh, it was a tough night, but still... Uh, Still, I don't know, thrilling at the same time. Excuse me? Um, yeah, third and fourth, really. I didn't, I didn't feel that way, to be quite honest. I mean, I had too many break chances that, of course, some of them I could have done better, should have done better, um, sh you know, all these things. So I'm sh surely he didn't give me much, you know, and all that. That's that's for sure. But still, I should have done better. No, no. I mean, that's part of the game. That's what we do. Um, I felt like they um, communicated well enough with us um, what was going on. Um, yeah, I mean, the good thing is when there's a rain delay at this stage of the tournament, There, I mean, obviously there's some pressure involved, but at the same time, wherever you are, it's very quiet rather than first match of the tournament where there's just like a thousand people everywhere where you can't even get like two square meters for yourself. Roger, uh, the year has not ended, but uh, and, and you've already reached the, the last two Grand Slam finals. Uh, so, uh, how do you match these results? Of course, it's always better to win, but how do you match these results, these achievements, uh, compared to your expectations and targets and goals at the beginning of this year? Yeah, I mean, I think I am. Uh, I'm playing a good year, you know. I'm playing good tennis. I'm happy with where my level's at. I'm able to be. Um, you know, consistent, very consistent, and uh, I'm able to beat the best players regularly. Um, Cincinnati obviously was a, a great feeling beating world number one and world number two the same week. I don't think I have done that before. Um, but then, of course, it's also disappointment, you know, I lost too many times uh, in finals. Um, but at the same time, I did win my tournaments, the ones I was supposed to. Or, when I got there, I was very happy the way I was playing, and uh, like you said, the year's not over yet, it keeps going, and usually I do have a good, strong finish to the season, um, and I hope I can repeat that again. No, I mean, I take all the positives for myself, you know. I must say, it's just so, I don't want to say comfortable, but it's just so nice to feel that, you know, that they, they want you to get back in the match, they want you to win, they they enjoy what they're seeing, feels like they're getting their money's worth. Um, but at the same time, it is, I guess, entertainment to some extent as well. It's a great battle, you know, and I'm, I'm happy that the people stayed after the rain delay and that that it was... They were right there when I needed them till the very, very end, you know. So, of course, there's a letdown and disappointment that I couldn't push it five all. And, and then who knows what happens, but I should have never been down in the first place, two sets to one and five two. That was, that was, uh, that was the bummer there. Hard to say. 
they were unbelievable tonight. Um, were they better than ever? Possibly. Um, was it louder than ever? Maybe. You know, it was unreal. Um, but I've heard loud New York crowds before. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, usually you learn more when you lose. Uh, just in the sense that you analyze them harder, deeper, at times, not always. Sometimes you just walk away and just you forget about it. Um, but, you know, I think in especially best of five set matches, ones that you know exceed two and a half, three, three and a half hours, you know, you go through some ups and downs naturally. You know, you can't play two perfect points every single time. So naturally you're going to you know, have to battle, and that's where you you learn a lot about your game, about your attitude, about your fitness, and this is, I think, the longest uh, match I've played all season. So it was very interesting to see for me how I coped with it. I was very happy, I had no problems, and uh, I'm happy I'm putting in the the hard work. You know, look, how do you say? Aside from the matches, because the matches I've played this year have been really quick. I won't see another best of five match for some time except for next weekend. Um, yeah, so I'm happy that I'm able to sustain a great level of play for a long period of time because I'm yeah, match tough and I've worked very hard in the off season as well. Um, well, I'm, I'm feeling confident doing it you know and I think it was the right game plan just execution sometimes was uh, was missing um, in some crucial moments but other than that I think I I played a good match you know um, maybe I haven't played this uh, offensive um, for a very long time and that's maybe the reasons as well why maybe um, it was slightly shaky when when it came to the crunch on the on the break points who knows Yeah, uh, a lot of opportunities missed. If it's back and forth and volleys, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I know why I lost the match very clearly. When the moment I sat down at 5-2 down in the fourth or after the match was over. Um, so something I'll work on and uh, keep moving forward. You know, it's no problem for me. Because of the mistakes I made, I gotta get better at that. It's just, it's pretty simple. How many majors? Uh, I didn't hear the end. Right. Uh, I think he's playing very well. I mean, kidding me or what? Uh, like, I think he's doing really well. Um, he's having a wonderful season, like in 2011. Um, you know, it's just really consistent. It seems like there's not many guys that can hang with him that either don't have the tools or they don't dare to go forward or they don't dare to serve volley ever against him because they think he's so good at on the return, which he is. But um, he's perfected his game on the hard courts, no doubt about it. He was always a good clay court player and because he... He moves as well as he does. He's also very consistent and solid down the grass, you know. So, um, um, to say the least, it's very impressive. And uh, he's having an unbelievable career, you know. I think everybody knows that. He knows that as well. Tonight is another example of that. And clearly he can win many of them. He already has a ton. So, um, obviously he's got to stay healthy and all that stuff and hungry. But, uh, you know, you would think that he wins some, some more after tonight. Uh, 
Um, well, I think it worked very well, um, and I'm sure I'll use it more in the future against him and many others. Um, it was a really interesting last m few months or so, uh, looking at that tactic. And if you look at the points he probably had to win, he had to play, had to play, had to play them perfectly. So I could have won even more, uh, more so. And who knows? Maybe I should have even played some more of it, you know, because I did get many more looks on the second serves as the match went on. Take questions from the Swiss media.